Stay black, Bobby. My brother. <laughs> you stay in black, baby. Thank you, Bobby. Have a good night. <laughs> hey, gossip aficionados. Today, we are diving into the world of Hollywood's favorite tough guy, Robert De Niro, and let me tell you, he's been at the center of some juicy scandals that have ruffled more than a few conservative feathers. From his outspoken political views to his controversial stances, De Niro has never been shy about letting the world know where he stands. But here's the thing. Some of his most headline-grabbing moments have left many wondering if this legendary actor has gone too far in his embrace of liberal ideology. So, buckle up as we take a closer look at three of Robert De Niro's most scandalous moments. Dictators. With Trump, we have a second chance. First on our list is Robert De Niro's very public and very vocal hatred of Donald Trump. Now, it's one thing to disagree with a politician, but De Niro has taken it to a whole new level, turning his disdain for Trump into a personal vendetta. Supporters of what a danger he is to our lives. Who could forget that infamous moment at the 2018 Tony Awards when De Niro took the stage and declared, F Trump, not once, but twice. I'm going to say one thing, fuck Trump. The audience may have erupted in applause, but for many conservatives, this was the moment when De Niro crossed the line from actor to political activist. De Niro's anti-Trump rants didn't stop there. He's made countless appearances on talk shows and in interviews where he's unleashed his fury on the former president, calling him everything from a buffoon to a gangster, and even going as far as to say he'd like to punch Trump in the face. For those on the right, these outbursts are more than just unprofessional, they are downright disrespectful to the office of the presidency and to the millions of Americans who supported Trump. But what makes this scandal truly controversial is the way De Niro's hatred for Trump seems to overshadow his once celebrated career. Instead of being remembered for iconic roles in films like Raging Bull and Taxi Driver, De Niro is now just as famous for his expletive filled tirades. Running for president? No, never could happen. We'd forgotten the lessons of history that showed us other clowns. It's as if he's turned his entire public persona into a mouthpiece for the left, alienating a huge portion of his audience in the process. From a conservative perspective, De Niro's behavior is a prime example of Hollywood's elitism and its disconnect from everyday Americans. Rather than engaging in thoughtful political discourse, De Niro has chosen to hurl insults and stoke division. We can't have that happen. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms goodbye that we all take for granted. And elections, forget about it. That's over. That's done. If he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. It's a far cry from the kind of leadership and respect for opposing viewpoints that many on the right believe should be the standard and it's left a lot of fans wondering if De Niro has lost touch with reality. Relentlessly committed to his craft, De Niro embodies his characters, creating rich, nuanced... Next up, we've got De Niro's unabashed embrace of Hollywood's liberal agenda. Let's be real, Hollywood has long been a bastion of left-leaning ideology, and Robert De Niro has made it clear that he's all in when it comes to supporting progressive causes. But what exactly does that mean? Well, for starters, De Niro has been a vocal supporter of causes like gun control, climate change action, and even open borders, issues that are often at odds with conservative values. De Niro's involvement with organizations like the Democratic National Committee and his public endorsements of leftist candidates have only cemented his status as a liberal icon. 
He's used his platform to push for stricter gun laws, rallying against the Second Amendment rights that many conservatives hold dear. And let's not forget his comments on climate change, where he's aligned himself with the likes of Al Gore and other activists who believe in drastic measures to combat global warming, measures that many on the right view as economically destructive and scientifically questionable. But perhaps one of the most controversial stances De Niro has taken is his support for open borders and lax immigration policies. In today's political climate, where the debate over immigration is more heated than ever, De Niro's position has drawn sharp criticism from conservatives who believe in strong border security and the enforcement of immigration laws. To many on the right, De Niro's advocacy for these liberal causes is just another example of Hollywood's tendency to lecture the rest of the country while living in a bubble of privilege. From a conservative viewpoint, De Niro's embrace of these leftist ideals is not just misguided, it's dangerous. It's a reminder of the cultural divide between Hollywood and middle America, and it reinforces the belief that the entertainment industry is out of touch with the values and concerns of everyday citizens. De Niro's activism may win him applause in liberal circles, but for those who see the world differently, it's just more proof that Hollywood has lost its way. Trump the benefit of the doubt and see what he does. Finally, let's talk about the scandal that really gets under the skin of many conservatives, Robert De Niro's hypocrisy when it comes to wealth and capitalism. Despite being one of the richest actors in Hollywood, De Niro has repeatedly criticized the wealthy and railed against capitalism, all while enjoying the perks of his own massive fortune. It's the classic, do as I say, not as I do mentality that drives so many on the right absolutely crazy. When things are going well, be calm. Don't think you're on top of the world in the sense you always got to be wary because I've seen it. I've seen people come. I've seen people go. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. You got to be chill. You got to like just take what's good in your life and move forward. De Niro has made no secret of his disdain for Wall Street and big business, often blaming them for the world's problems. Yet, he's more than happy to reap the benefits of his own investments and business ventures, including his lucrative Nobu restaurant chain and his Tribeca Film Festival. The fact that De Niro preaches about income inequality while living in multi-million dollar homes and jet-setting around the world smacks of hypocrisy to those who value hard work and the free market. He's vicious. And why will... What's even more frustrating for conservatives is the way De Niro uses his platform to attack capitalism while simultaneously profiting from it. He's criticized tax cuts for the wealthy, yet he's taken advantage of every tax break and incentive available to him. It's this kind of double standard that leaves many on the right questioning whether De Niro truly believes in the causes he champions, or if it's all just a way to stay in the good graces of his liberal peers. For conservatives, this scandal is a reminder of the hollow nature of Hollywood's virtue signaling. While De Niro and others like him preach about social justice and economic fairness, they are often the very people who benefit the most from the system they claim to despise. It's a glaring contradiction that highlights the disconnect between the Hollywood elite and the everyday Americans who work hard to make ends meet. In the end, Robert De Niro's scandals serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of mixing celebrity with politics. While he may continue to be a beloved figure in the world of film, his forays into political activism have left many conservatives questioning his motives and his sincerity. As the cultural divide in America continues to grow, it's clear that figures like De Niro will remain at the center of the controversy, whether they like it or not. You can kiss these freedoms goodbye that we all take for granted. And elections, forget about it. That's over. That's done. If he gets in, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, as I will continue posting only the best celebrity and K-pop content. This was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one. I hope this new ad campaign, campaign reaches outside the bubble to remind supporters of what a danger he is to our lives. This is not a threat. This is a reality.
And that's why I've joined the Biden-Harris campaign, because the only way to preserve our freedoms and hold on to our humanity is to vote for Joe Biden for president.